Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. This is Amin with Sira Masters, developing the Muslim mindset for success. In this video, um, I'm back and uh, new location. <laughs> Okay, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back. You know, it's been a bit of a while. It's been crazy. You know, you'll be surprised how hard it is sometimes to find places to film uh, where you're not going to get disturbed. And I just really need to be able to kind of think about what I'm talking about in the video. So anyway, this week, um, you know, we talked about focus before we talked about people controlling how we think and all of that. And this is what Twitter really is about. This is what me leaving Twitter is uh, really about. Now, I like Twitter, okay? It was actually one of my favorite platforms. It was a place where I actually, I felt there was a kind of sense of community, even though it's very open. Um, and, you know, people would follow strangers and all of that. It's not like Facebook. But, um, so yeah, that, this is a good side of Twitter really, is that I did get to know people that I actually then uh, met in real life and there's some great people and actually got some good opportunities coming from Twitter, coming from that organic interaction that you get on the platform. Now on top of that, you kind of keep up with um, what's happening, right? You might hear news of this happening or you hear, I don't know, even like a, this person is missing or this person needs some help with some money or some accommodation or whatever. You hear this kind of stuff as well. So there is some kind of information that you get out of it too. Um, really and truly, that is, those are the two main benefits I see. You know, meeting people, um, I guess you could say sense of community as well, and then also learning stuff, news. Not like learning knowledge, like uh, facts and how to think, no, definitely not that, but more like this is happening here, this is happening there kind of thing. Um, so those are the positive things, right? And like I said, I did learn some, I did get to meet some, some cool people from Twitter. Um, in, in the whew, long time that I was there, probably five years or something. I was there pretty, pretty early. Now, why did I leave though? Okay, those are the good things. Why did I leave? Firstly, it's a, it's a time suck, okay? Now, I sorted it out, so I deleted it off my phone and I limited the time I could spend on it on my computer. But I was just, even if I was only using it 10, 15 minutes a day, I was thinking, what am I getting? What am I getting for that 15 minutes that I'm giving it? And eventually, more and more, I could not say I was getting much. Right? Those benefits I talked about, they were not really as strong or as present as before. Okay? Because the community thing kind of got diluted, and there's some problems with the actual platform. Okay? So that was one of the reasons. The second reason is, I'm trying to, I'm trying to be proactive in my life. I'm trying to say, look. Um, I want to get there and I'm going to do this, this, this to get there, right? That means I already know what I want, um, at least in a certain ex to a certain extent. I know what I want, I, I know what I need to, to do to get there. Or if I don't, I'm going to go to these good high authority sources and find out. Now, what does, where does Twitter come into that? It's like, it's distracting me right i'm trying to do xyz and people are tweeting about oh this won't work like negative stuff basically um the world is in a bad place like basically pessimistic stuff and when you're trying to get places and you're trying to aim high pessimism is you don't want pessimism right i have enough pessimism in my own brain where i question my ideas and my goals and my ambitions right and uh, maybe people around me they're not so certain of what i want to achieve and they're questioning me so i don't need to go on twitter find more negativity okay so that's the second thing like the negativity like people complaining or people arguing about stuff like uh, I don't know, feminism is not Islamic. Like Twitter is not the place to discuss that. I never see fruitful conversations. I never see two people arguing and like really trying to listen to each other. So negativity in general, I would say is the second reason I left Twitter. The third reason is, again, I'm trying to do something. I've decided what I want to do and I'm trying to get there, right? In general, like we're all trying to get to gender, right? We know where we want to go. And then we have these, things going on on the timeline that are distracting us from that goal like when you you follow someone maybe you see a few things out of theirs that are interesting that are funny that are whatever but then you follow them and after a while like some of their tweets they're distracting you they're making you think of stuff they're filling your brain basically our brain is not a it's not a hard drive to store stuff it is ram you know it's it's something which is temporary it's a processing thing it's not a storage thing so 
I want to limit the inputs, right? Um, and so if I'm following someone, yeah, they might be funny, they might be nice, they might be this, but they're filling my head with stuff that's unnecessary. And like I said in the second point, negative a lot of the time. So that's the third point. And um, really those three are the main things, the time, the negativity, and then the distraction of thoughts, right? The attention that I'm giving it. Um, and you know, like I've mentioned in series, um, Thinking Straight, how just reading these tweets, right? You, it's that, 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 oh, those 140 characters, they're getting into your brain. They're doing something in your brain. They're slightly altering, they're slightly chipping away at your, I don't know, willpower, at your optimism, at your motivation. They, they could be easily chipping at that. And so I want to choose what is affecting me. So I'm reading the Quran, right? I'm listening to Mashaykh. I'm listening to even, even non-Muslims that are successful in what I want to do. I'm listening to people I respect, my, my parents, etc. I need, these people that I'm going to take, you know, take either information or thoughts or opinions from, I, they, have, they have to have some kind of authority, you know. If I'm going to be reading them all the time, they've got to, I've got to respect their opinion. And if they're a random person that I follow just because of something funny or something interesting they posted, most likely I haven't filtered them like down to this guy is someone I want to listen to, this woman is someone I want to listen to, you know what I mean? So when it comes to the inputs, I limit it to people that, you know, they're doing things better than me, right? So I can step up the level or at least similar. Um, and so if you don't filter that, then you're going to end up being stuck down there with with sadly with most people right so uh this is why i left uh twitter it's been it must be uh, over a month now i think my account class is deleted um I, I was stuck on like was it 2400 followers so not crazy amount but i used to have more interaction back in the day it was cool I used to share opinions with people but you know the platform kind of changed and it wasn't as good in that sense so now that it's been over a month I just feel free, you know? I don't know about this going on and this going on. And frankly, I don't need to. Um, I, I also deleted Instagram, same like even less benefit than Twitter on Instagram for me personally. Facebook, I've got that. Um, Facebook is pretty good because you're more selective, I suppose, in what you're uh, listening to, what you're reading and stuff. Um, even there though the same applies you've got to filter who you want to read information from um, and even Facebook you know I limit my time on it so you know I feel freer you know I feel like I, I'm in control of what's going into my brain now and that can make me more positive more uh, optimistic more ambitious more motivated whatever so uh, I suggest you know you try it out yourself you know don't go don't say I'm leaving how many people said I'm gonna leave Twitter they came back a few weeks later right um, I, I've left um, my account's probably deleted now, so I'm probably never going to go back um, and I feel good about it. So you try it yourself. Just say, look, I'm going to do a test of two weeks and just see what's happening in your brain. You know, try and consume less of what other people's thoughts and being forced into you and just live your life and just think and consume good, good stuff like stuff, you know, this guy knows what he's talking about. This woman knows what she's talking about, you know. Um, I think I'm repeating myself now. I just wanted to come back. Sierra Masters is still here. I just got, you know, I'm, I'm just always moving, right, these days. At least in the last few years, I've always been moving. Um, I hope you like the change of scenery. The sun's in my eyes a bit, but the lighting is, is nice, I think. Uh, the weather's nice out here. And inshallah, inshallah, we're back to weekly videos every single Friday. So subscribe and actually, I'm going to put that at the end of the video. Alas, enough of that. This is Amin. Um, drop a comment in, uh, in the bottom for video suggestions. Salam. Thanks for watching that video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in how to design your mindset and design your lifestyle as a Muslim so you can get everything you want done, then make sure you subscribe to this channel for at least weekly videos and check out the website right there where you can download free mindset resources and look at our blog with all the articles and stuff there. Uh, check it out and uh, see you.